Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Miley. In the spotlight tonight are Bob Teasdale, a retired caterer who will be answering questions on the English folk musician Richard Thompson. Lisa Wallace, a pharmacist whose specialist subject is the Emmy award-winning series Ted Lasso. Jane Hill, a university lecturer. Her subject is the life and works of the American writer Joan Didion and Krishna Jada, a doctor. His subject, the early life of the Indian political activist Gandhi. Now, this programme comes with a health warning. Make sure you read the label. May induce palpitations, quicken the heart, cause sweating and fuzziness to the brain. So what are the ingredients that can produce such a reaction? Well, a ticking clock, the glare of the spotlight on the famous black chair, of course. Oh, and two minutes on a specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Who's ready to take their medicine? Can I ask our first contender to join us, please? Your name? Bob Teasdale. Your occupation? I'm a retired caterer. And your specialist subject? The folk musician Richard Thompson. The London-born singer, songwriter and guitarist with a career spanning seven decades in two minutes. Let's go. In 1967, the teenage Richard Thompson co-founded which folk rock band with Ashley Hutchings and Simon Nicholl? Fairport Convention. Yes, what was the name of the company founded by the record producer Joe Boyd, which acted as Fairport Convention's management team for much of the band's early years? Which season? Yes, Thompson played electric guitar on which song from Nick Drake's 1969 album Five Leaves Left? Time has told me. Yes, who wrote the poem found by Thompson in a copy of the Penguin Book of Sick Verse that was adapted as the song The Lobster on Fairport Convention's 1968 debut album? Salvador Dali? No, George Painter. Thompson released six studio albums as a duo with his then-wife, Linda, starting in 1974 with I Want to See the Bright Lights Tonight and ending in 1982 with which other album? Shoot Out the Lights. Yes, at the age of 23, Thompson attended a meeting of followers of what mystical form of Islam to which he would later convert? Sufism. Yes, Thompson released two albums, Live, Love, Laugh and Loaf in 1987 and 1990's Invisible Means as part of a quartet comprising himself, Henry Kaiser, Fred Frith and which drummer? John French. Yes, which song from the 2003 album The Old Kit Bag opens with the lyrics My screen plays on the block, my Tuscan villas in hock? A solitary Life? No, Pearly Jim. Thompson is one of three musicians playing slide guitar on which track on John Cale's 1974 album Fear. Buffalo Ballet? No, Mo Mama Scuba. In 2011, Time magazine selected which song from Thompson's 1991 album Rumour and Sigh as one of the greatest English language popular recordings since 1923. 1952, Vincent Black Lightning. Yes, in his 2021 memoir, Bee's Wing, Thompson says of which folk singer, the vocalist with the 1960s band Eclection, that she'd been responsible for turning me vegetarian. Doris Henderson? No, Kerry Lee Marl. Which song, originally a hit for Britney Spears, did Thompson record for his... I've done it so finish. Record for his 2003 album, 1,000 Years of Popular Music. Oops, I did it again. It was. Oops, I did it again. So, Bob, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got eight points. OK. And our next contender, please. Your name? Lisa Wallace. Your occupation? Pharmacist. And your specialist subject? Ted Lasso. The award-winning sitcom starring Jason Sudeikis as the seemingly hapless manager of the fictional Premier League club AFC Richmond. In two minutes, let's go. Which actor plays Nathan Shelley, Richmond's tactically astute kit man and later coach? Nick Mohammed. Yes, before he and his assistant, Coach Beard, joined Richmond, Ted had gone viral for a celebratory dance in the changing room of which American football team whom he led to their first national title in the United States? Wichita State Shockers. Yes, which real-life former footballer appears as a co-commentator alongside Arlo White throughout the series, frequently making deadpan observations? Chris Pyle. Yes, when Ted organises a birthday party for the homesick Nigerian player Sam Obisanya. What West African snack do his Richmond teammates procure for him, which he says is all I used to eat growing up? 
Chin Chin. Yes, which composer co-wrote the music for the show with Marcus Mumford and plays many of the instruments on the score? Tom Hay. Yes, what's the name of the restaurant in Tooting where Nate books a table for his parents' 35th wedding anniversary celebration? A Taste of Athens. Yes, in her office, the club's owner, Rebecca Welton, has a painting that was an anniversary present from her then-husband, Rupert, by which artist, whom Ted, on seeing the picture, describes as a very talented little boy? Hockney. Yes, at the start of season two, Richmond's former star striker, Jamie Tart, leaves Manchester City to appear as a contestant on what fictional television dating show? Lust Conquers All. Yes, which season one episode takes its title from the name of the loose support group formed by Ted, Coach Beard, Nate and Higgins, who meet to discuss their relationship problems and offer each other advice? Diamond Dogs. Yes, in the season two finale, Richmond must achieve at least a draw against which team to earn promotion back to the Premier League? Man City? No, Brentford. Which American actor was nominated for an Emmy Award for his direction of the second episode of the series Biscuits? Zach Braff. Yes, in the episode Two Aces, Keely Jones, Richmond's PR consultant, teases the team captain, Roy Kent, about his rap verse on a charity single which had what four-word title? Winner, winner, football dinner? Yes, what's the name of the local dog shelter that Rebecca agrees to donate money to after the unfortunate... I've done it all finish. After the unfortunate death of the club's mascot, Earl Greyhound. Barkingham Palace. It is Barkingham Palace. And Lisa, you had no passes. You got 12 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name. Jane Hill. Your occupation? University lecturer. And your specialist subjects? The life and works of Joan Didion. The American essayist, novelist and journalist known for her dry wit and cutting observations. In two minutes, let's go. Joan Didion was born in 1934 in which city in California? Sacramento. Yes, Didion studied English at the University of California, Berkeley, having previously been rejected by which other university, an experience she'd later write about in the Saturday Evening Post? Stanford. Yes, in which of her early essays did Didion write one of the mixed blessings of being 20 is the conviction that nothing like this, all evidence to the contrary notwithstanding, has ever happened to anyone before. Goodbye to all that. Yes, Didion relocated to New York in 1956 after securing a full-time job at Vogue magazine and while there took an extension course at the University of California on what subject? Shopping mall planning. I'll accept that. It's shopping centre theory. Which of Didion's novels opens with the line, some real things have happened lately? The last thing he wanted. Yes, in 1966, Didion and her husband, John Gregory Dunn, privately adopted a newborn baby girl and gave her what name? Quintana Roo. Yes, which future first lady of the United States did Didion interview for the Saturday Evening Post in 1968, writing a profile that her subject was appalled to find dripping with sarcasm? Nancy Reagan. Yes, the title of Didion's debut novel, Run River, was suggested by her publisher after he'd rejected her own two suggestions of In the Night Season and Which Other? Harvest Home. Yes, Didion's 1970 novel, Play It As It Lays, was referred to by her daughter, Quintana, as Mommy's Snake Book because of the silhouette of a snake on the cover designed by which artist? Janet Halverson. Yes, in 1977, Didion's former lover, Noel Parmentel, wrote to her publisher complaining about Didion's soon-to-be-published novel, A Book of Common Prayer, because he felt that which character, portrayed as drunk and abusive, was based on him? Warren Bogart. Yes, Didion's stage adaptation of her memoir, The Year of Magical Thinking, opened on Broadway in 2007, with which British actress playing the author? Vanessa Redgrave. Yes, Didion died in 2021, and at her memorial service the following year, the musician and author Patti Smith performed which Bob Dylan song? It's all over now, Baby Blue. No, it was Chimes of Freedom. And Jane, at the end of that round, you've got no passes and 11 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. Your name? Krishna Jada. Your occupation? Doctor. And your specialist subject? Early life of Gandhi. The first 45 years of Gandhi's life before his return to India from South Africa in 1915 to campaign for independence. In two minutes. Let's go. What name derived from the Sanskrit and Hindi for holding firmly onto truth did Gandhi give to his campaigns of non-violent civil disobedience? 
Satyagraha. Yes. Gandhi was called to the bar in 1891, having studied law at which of London's inns of court? In a temple. Yes. At which battle fought in January 1900 during the Second Boer War did Gandhi serve as a medic and stretcher bearer? Spiankov? Yes. In a letter to his close friend Henry Pollock in April 1909, Gandhi described which Jain scholar and poet who died in 1901 as the best Indian of his times? Ray Chanbai. Yes. What was the name of the farm near Durban purchased by Gandhi in December 1904, where he set up a printing press and later established a school? Phoenix Settlement. Yes. At what railway station in Natal in South Africa was Gandhi removed from a train after he refused to move to a third-class carriage? Peter Maritzburg. Yes, what was the name of the Lithuanian Jewish woman who was employed by Gandhi for eight years at his law office and of whom he later said she did not work for the sake of pay but for the sake of the work itself? Sonia Schlesen. Yes, what was the English title of Gandhi's 1910 book, Hind Swaraj, in which he critiqued Western civilization and outlined many of his key political and moral beliefs? Indian Home Rule. Yes, in which building in Johannesburg was a mass meeting held on the 11th of September 1906, at which Gandhi and other leaders protested against the proposed Asiatic Law Amendment Ordinance? Old Empire Theatre. Yes. What was the name of the Hindu priest who, in November 1907, was the first person prosecuted under the Transvaal Asiatic Registration Act and whom Gandhi defended in court? Ramson the Pandit. Yes, on the 10th of January 1908, Gandhi was sentenced to how many months in prison for his refusal either to register under the Asiatic Act or to leave the Transvaal? Two months. Yes. Outside which mosque in Johannesburg was there a mass burning of registration certificates by Gandhi and his followers on the 16th of August 1908? Fordsburg Mosque. It was Fordsburg. And Krishna, no passes, 12 points. Thank you. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, with eight points, it's Bob. In third place, with 11 points, it's Jane. And in first place, with 12 points each, it's Lisa and Krishna. So, now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account. And the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So, let's ask Bob to join us again, please. Bob, you start with eight points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. Teetotalism is the practice of abstaining from drinks containing what substance? Alcohol. Yes, which actor plays the title character in the 1990s television sitcom Mr Bean? Rowan Atkinson. Yes, which deity in Norse mythology, sometimes known as Allfather, or the father of all the gods, was the god of war, death and poetry? Odin? Yes, between 2002 and 2006. Which British singer had UK number one albums entitled Escapology, Intensive Care and Rude Box? Robbie Williams? Yes. The Topkapi Palace, the Grand Bazaar and the Hagia Sophia are tourist attractions in which city? Istanbul. Yes. What voluntary organisation was founded in London in 1953 by a priest named Chad Vara? Salvation Army? No, the Samaritans in snooker, in a normal final clearance of the colours, what colour ball is potted immediately after the yellow? Green. Yes. Which British actress plays the first female 007 in the James Bond film No Time to Die and appears as Miss Honey in the 2022 film Roald Dahl's Matilda the Musical? Pass. The plastic polyvinyl chloride used in the construction and fashion industries as well as for packaging is usually known by what three-letter abbreviation? PVC. Yes. What comic opera by Rossini was first performed in Rome in 1816 under the title Alma Viva or The Useless Precaution? Figaro? No, The Barber of Seville. What long-running radio soap is set in the fictional English village of Ambridge? The Archers. Yes. In 2011, the euro replaced the croon as the basic unit of currency in which one of the Baltic states? Lithuania. No, Estonia. The Tower Ballroom, famously designed by Frank Matcham and opened in 1899, is in which seaside resort in the northwest of England? Blackpool. Yes. How many feathers are referred to in the title of an adventure novel by A.E.W. Mason, first published in 1902 about an army officer who resigns his commission just before his regiment is sent to war? Four. Yes. In 2018, which Labour politician succeeded Carolyn Jones as First Minister of Wales? Pass. 
which American oil tycoon opened his first museum at his home in Malibu, California in 1954 to house his own substantial art collection? Pass. What adjective derived from Greek words meaning upward and to throw describes the type of synthetic steroid that promotes the growth of muscle tissue? Pass. It's anabolic. <laughs> and you had three other passes. John Paul Getty is the American oil tycoon who opened that museum in California. Mark Drakeford replaced Carolyn Jones as First Minister of Wales. And Lashana Lynch was the first female 007. And at the end of that round, Bob, you've got a total of 18 points. Thank you. Next up is Jane. Jane, you start with 11 points. The score to beat as it stands is 18 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What waterproof item carried to protect against wet weather is sometimes known informally as a brolly? Umbrella. Yes, the song Take Me Out to the Ball Game is traditionally sung by fans in the United States attending which sport? Super Bowl. No, baseball. What regnal first name was shared by six British kings, the first of whom succeeded to the throne in 1714, the last in 1936? Edward. No, George. Which Irish music manager, a long-time judge on the television talent show The X Factor, is credited with creating the boy band Boy's Own? Louis Walsh. Yes, the huge altarpiece in Ghent Cathedral entitled The Adoration of the Mystic Lamb was painted in the 15th century by two brothers, Hubert and Jan, with what surname? Van Eyck. Yes, the first working day after the New Year's Day bank holiday, usually on the 2nd of January, is an additional bank holiday in which one of the four home nations of the UK? Scotland. Yes, in the television soap EastEnders, which member of the Mitchell family who first appeared in 1998 is played by Perry Fenwick? Billy. Yes, what word for a type of syrupy medicine taken to relieve coughs and a sore throat is derived from a Latin verb meaning to lick? Linctus. Yes, in a traditional nursery rhyme, Tom, the piper's son, steals what farm animal? Pig. Yes, a wine bottle known as a Balthazar can hold as much wine as how many standard bottles? Ten. No, sixteen. What extinct bird, once native to the island of Mauritius, has a name derived from a Portuguese word meaning silly? Dodo. Yes, what comic book superhero was played by Robert Pattinson in a 2022 film also starring Zoe Kravitz, Colin Farrell and Paul Dano? Superman? No, Batman. In the word contrail, an alternative term for a vapour trail left in the sky by an aircraft, con is an abbreviation of what word? Uh, condensation. Yes, the Kabompo and the Kuando are tributaries of which major river in southern Africa? The Zambezi. Yes, which Swiss-born philosopher wrote the 1762 book The Social Contract, whose first chapter opens with the words man is born free and everywhere he is in chains? Rousseau? Yes, Mayana and Theravada are the two main traditions within which major religion? Buddhism. Yes, which television presenter and film critic married the screenwriter Jane Goldman in 1988? Jonathan Ross. Yes, which toxic radioactive element has the chemical symbol P.O.? Potassium. No, polonium. The first waltz in Opus 64 by Frédéric Chopin is known by what nickname because of its short duration? The minute waltz. Yes, in Greek mythology, what collective name? I've started, so I'll finish. What collective name is given to Aglaia, Euphrosyne and Thalia, the daughters of Zeus and Eurynome? The Muses. No. They bestowed gifts such as joy and beauty on humanity. They're the three graces. No passes, Jane. You've got 25 points. Thank you. Next up is Lisa. Lisa, you start with 12 points. The score to beat as it stands is 25 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The formula pi r squared is used to calculate the area of what geometric shape? Circle. Yes. In the name of a levy on certain manufactured goods, the letters VAT stands for what? Value added tax. Yes. Which constellation and sign of the zodiac has the alternative name the crab? 
Sagittarius? No, Cancer. Since 2006, which writer and satirist has presented the Wipe series of comedy television reviews, including his Screen Wipe, Weekly Wipe and News Wipe? Charlie Brooker. Yes. What's the 11th letter of the Greek alphabet corresponding to the English letter L? Epsilon? No, Lambda, the charity called the Fawcett Society, which campaigns for gender equality and women's rights, is named in honour of a suffragist with what first name? Farah? No, Millicent, what's the common name for a sensitive part of the arm where the ulnar nerve passes behind the elbow joint? Funny Bill? Yes. Which British singer joined the heavy metal band ACDC in 1980 as the replacement for their original frontman, Bon Scott, and sang on the UK number one album, Back in Black? Oh, Angus Young. No, Brian Johnson. What name is given to the annual ceremony dating back to 1282 and held at Goldsmiths Hall in London, in which a sample of coins produced by the Royal Mint is tested to ensure that standards are met in terms of weight, size and composition? Metrics. No, Trial of the Picks. What was the pseudonym of the 19th century British author Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, known for his children's novels and nonsense poems? Dr. Zeus? No, Lewis Carroll. What French name, literally meaning eat all, is used in English for a variety of pea cultivated for its edible pods? Edamame? No, Mange 2. Which mountain in New Zealand's Southern Alps has the Maori name Arawaki? Greece? No, Mount Cook. At the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics, Bethany Firth won two gold and two silver medals for Great Britain in which sport? 100 metres. No, swimming. In the 2004 film version of Starsky and Hutch, the police informant Huggy Bear is played by which rapper and actor? Ice Cube. No, Snoop Dogg. Which typeface, designed specifically for use in a British newspaper, was created by Stanley Morrison and Victor Laudant and first appeared in print in 1932? Times New Roman. Yes. Sidney Sowers was the first director of which US government agency established in 1947 and responsible for gathering information pertaining to national security and foreign affairs. FBI? No, the CIA. Lisa, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 17 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Krishna again. Krishna, you start with 12 points. The score to beat to get through to the semi-finals is Jane's 25 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The abbreviation UFO for a mysterious aerial phenomenon is short for unidentified what? Flying object. Yes, the cakewalk, the jitterbug and the begin are all types of what leisure activity? Dance. Yes. What long-running West End musical features songs entitled Castle on a Cloud, One Day More and Empty Chairs at Empty Tables? Sounds of Music. No, Les Miserables. Although it's the ninth month of the year in the Gregorian calendar, which month is named after the Latin word for the number seven? September. Yes, which Polish tennis player won her fourth Grand Slam singles title with victory in the 2023 French Open, beating the Czech player Karolina Mukova in the final? Iga Schwantek. Yes, an icosahedron is a solid figure with how many faces? 16? No, 20. What competitive television show featuring game categories called Mystery, Mental, Physical and Skill was originally hosted by Richard O'Brien in the 1990s and later by Richard Ayoade from its revival in 2017? Um, pass. Which epoch characterised by the formation of huge glaciers and ice sheets and known informally as the Great Ice Age immediately preceded the current Holocene epoch? Cambrian? No, Pleistocene. In October 2022, Gillian Keegan was appointed Secretary of State for which UK government department? Pensions. No, education. Which drummer was a member of the rock band The Who from 1964 until his death in 1978? Pass. What classic cocktail made from vodka and orange juice shares its name with a common hand tool? Screwdriver? Yes. Which veteran American filmmaker directed the 2021 film Cry Macho and starred in it as a former rodeo rider named Mike Milo? Pass. The logo of UNESCO features a stylized depiction of which temple in Athens? Parthenon. Yes. What's the title of the 1993 debut novel by Irvin Welsh, which introduces several of his recurring characters, including Mark Renton and Francis Begbie? 
Mm. Pass. The dark brown and white or black and white seabird with the scientific name Puffinus Puffinus is called the Manx what? Puffin. No, sheer water. What unit for measuring the weight of diamonds and other precious stones is believed to get its name from that of the carob tree, the seeds of which were once used as counterweights on balance scales? Carrot. It is carrot. Krishna, you had four passes. A debut novel from Irvin Welsh, Train Spotting. Clint Eastwood, the veteran filmmaker who directed Cry Macho. Keith Moon, drummer of The Who, died in 1978. And The Crystal Maze, the competitive television show featuring game categories called Mystery, Mental, Physical and Skill. So, Krishna, at the end of that round, you've got 19 points. Thank you. Let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 17 points, it's Lisa. In third place with 18 points, it's Bob. In second place with 19 points, it's Krishna. And in first place with 25 points, it's Jane, which means she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. It was amazing. It was a really tough competition today. I mean, I was in third place going into general knowledge, and there are only two points, I think, separating three of us. So you sort of sit there thinking, I could do it, and really just having to kind of keep it together, Jane, keep it together. And your specialist subjects. The life and works of Joan Didion. Joan Didion has been somebody I've been reading for years. She's one of my absolute favourite writers, and it was a delight to just spend the time reading her and reading about her. And Jane, at the end of that round, you've got no passes and 11 points. Thank you. I'm a university lecturer, and uh, I, I can see how stressed students get doing revision. And of course, it's been me revising this time, uh, revising really hard, and thank goodness it paid off. And in first place, with 25 points, it's Jane, which means she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. I, I did mastermind 29 years ago. It was in the days of Magnus Magnusson. Your name, please? Jane Hill. Occupation? Radio journalist. I was obviously very young, and I reached the semi-finals, so this time it would be lovely to go one further. <laughs>